which is a huge mall, another huge mall. Malaysia definitely is the place if you want to do some serious shopping. They have tons of stores. This mall is like seven stories high, crazy. It's insane, there's different layers of it too. Like you walk into different areas, there's an outdoor and an yeah. indoor, so it is ginormous. It's absolutely huge. Um, but we came here for lunch, surprise, surprise. I just basically, I was craving hummus and lentil soup and I just Googled like best lentil soup and hummus like in Kuala Lumpur. And this place came up, Alamar. And it's a, it's a Lebanese restaurant. And you wouldn't think it would be that great. It's like in a mall, but it was delicious. Oh, it's hands down amazing. Hands down, like great hummus, great um, grape leaves, stuffed grape leaves, lentil soup. Aaron got I some got, crazy chicken. I got the half uh, grilled spicy chicken. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, you guys got to check it out. So now we're going to go grab a coffee. I think we're going to try to go get our hair did. We're going to try to walk all seven layers to walk all that off. Oh my God, um, we're so so cool. we got a cool uh, thing coming tonight for dinner. Yes. So wait Stay for it. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. So cool. the New York Tower. And I cried the whole time. Oh my gosh. Hey guys. What's up everyone? So we're at the very, very top, uh, the observation deck of the Kuala Lumpur Tower. And Absolutely. we are up high guys. We're like in the clouds. It's yes. so crazy. So this is the Menorah Tower. It is 421 meters high, really which high. is pretty high. It ranks about the middle of all the big towers around the world. Um, so it's, it's pretty up there, but we have an entire view of Kuala Lumpur. It's gonna be gorgeous, so. Yeah, it's, uh, we're gonna go upstairs. We're actually gonna go up even a little higher and go have some dinner and watch a show. And it should be a good time. Get some beautiful pictures. The city lights up at night, so that should be pretty cool. Yeah, so. it's gonna be gorgeous. So yeah. we'll see you at dinner. Yeah. Bye. Okay, good evening. Thank Welcome you. to MSP 360. Are you okay? All right, okay. slowly move it, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. oh, wow. Enjoy your dinner. So we're going to go around? Yes, you go around. Oh, my gosh, it's yes. awesome. That's okay. great, thank All you. Extremely lethargic and ready I can't for breathe. <laughs> came and I literally can't breathe. I am so full. Yeah. We so just we came from up there. Up there. <laughs> um, but it was actually really, 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 really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. They had a lot for everybody. The sushi was phenomenal. Sushi was pretty good. The dessert, though, that's where I was at. I mean, of course. that's like pretty much all I ate was the dessert. I like tore it up. Yeah, so service I was amazing. The ambiance 
was awesome. I love the mm -hmm. six o'clock time because you got to see it light and then dark, uh, which was really cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just like a food coma. So yeah. what's what's the Kim and Aaron uh, verdict? Okay, so I'm gonna give it. So okay, we're going on a scale from four thumbs up. Four yes. being the best, that's two thumbs up from both of us. Okay, that means it's like hands down the best thing in the world. So four being the best, zero being the worst. Clearly, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to give it. I feel torn. I'm gonna give it a one thumb. Why? Here's why. Because the food was okay. It what? Was, it was good. But like, we disagree. there was a little bit of stuff for vegetarians. I don't know, I guess I take it back. I guess I'll give it a two thumbs up because... Show the two thumbs up. Two. All right, that's final. Like this. <laughs> two and a half? Okay. <laughs> two and, one and, one a, and half. a half. Because there was some good stuff. It was decent quality. It wasn't like anything to write home about. But I think that it was more for the experience from myself. Like the food was just so-so, but it was like, to be up there, to see the views, like to have a glass of wine. It was a really fun place, like just cool vibe. So I give it one and a half for the vibe and the desserts. So I'm going two. And the non. I'm going two. Um, they had he ate, like, duck, they plate. had lamb, they had beef, they had chicken, they had rice, they had sushi and clams and oysters and Ugh. they were all phenomenal. Um, so I tried a little piece of everything. The dessert was great. Um, ambiance was great, the wine was great, um, service was great, so I'm going one and two so since I have to hold the camera. three and a half thumbs. Three and a half thumbs is so not bad. three and a half thumbs out of four, pretty good. Yeah. I definitely think if you're in Kuala Lumpur, it's a little bit, um, it was expensive. It was... For, for standard. It, yeah, was, it was pretty expensive, but if you have a little bit of extra money and you want to do something cool, like it was just a cool view and um, just a cool place to grab a drink. They also do lunch. So you could go up there and it's cheaper. That's another option. Yeah. So um, I would say check, definitely check it out. It was, it was, I think it's a must in Kuala Lumpur. Just, I mean, you're seeing the entire city and it's just beautiful. So I loved it. So, I'm going home to like literally play in my bed and cry. Yeah, pretty much. I'm so full. All right, guys, until next time, Kim and Aaron. We're coming food, at you. Food, travel, adventure. Love. Love. We're going to down. Bali tomorrow. Bali. Back to Bali tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey guys. What's up everyone? So we're about to head to the airport. Um, we're leaving Kuala Lumpur. And honestly, Kuala Lumpur is a huge city. It's a really fun city to escape for a day or two. Um, it's really considered like the New York of Southeast Asia. It's very cosmopolitan. Um, kind of uh, good, nice restaurants. Good food, good shopping. Lots of shopping. Um, arts. It's kind of Lots of museums. Lots of museums and stuff like that. It's in, you know, they have the cool night market. And so I would say that Kuala Lumpur would be a cool place to come for like a day or two just to kind of have the city experience. Um, and it was nice for us because we've kind of been in the village of yeah. Bali. And so it was nice to get this city life of like going and eating at a cool restaurant and all these kind of different things. So yeah. it was nice. It just felt a little bit refreshing. And it kind of felt almost homey. They had, you know, Subway and Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, which again, isn't like, authentic but it was nice for us to kind of have that little touch of for a weekend yeah. for for two days yes. so I wouldn't do a long stay here no. but two days was absolutely perfect um, so definitely put KL on the map for a yeah, nice KL's city getaway well. if you're in uh, Southeast Asia Spent here. Yeah. Uh, rating on that, I'm going two. You're doing two? I'm doing two. I, I, I liked it. It was nice. I think I'll give it two. Um, again, depends on what you're looking for, but we were looking for kind of a city escape, a city experience with food, drinks, out and about, walking around, hustle and bustle, right. like of a loud city. Um, so I guess if you're looking for that experience, yeah, I'd give it a two thumbs up. Um, it, it's a cool place just to come for a couple days. I've Absolutely. done that a few times, but yeah. Um, yeah, and so that's four it. thumbs? Four thumbs. So four for Invito and four for Kuala Lumpur. Nice job.
Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice job, KL. Nice job, KL. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then give it give it a nice give thumbs, thumbs up. up. And um, oh, last thing, check out the blog. We're gonna put it in yes. the um, in the description below, and the blog will have a little bit more detail about where we ate, what we ate, um, and kind of just uh, yeah, break it down a little bit more yeah, um, to give you some other tips and tools if you come to KL. That's right. Yeah. Alright guys, so signing out. Gotta have faith. Gotta have faith. Faith, faith. <laughs>